Welcome to Angel Health Academy. Topic for the day is 5 year plans in India part 3. 5 year plans in India part 3. I have been already uploaded part 1, part 2, general 5 year plans in India and first 5 year plan and second 5 year plan in India. If you have not watched that video, you can just uh, watch that video first, then you can come back and join to the today's video that is 5 year plans in India, that is the third 5 year plan in India. So let us start today's session, that is third 5 year plan, the period is 1969 to 1974. So, Government of India started third five-year plan from 1961 to 1966 under the leadership of Jawaharlal Nehru, then Prime Minister of India. Then this third five-year plan is also known as Gandhian model because the third five-year plan was under the leadership of Jawaharlal Nehru. Because of that, it was known as or it is known as Gandhian model. And this plan is also called, the third five-year plan is also called as Gadjil Yojana in memory of Deputy Chairman of Planning Commission, Dr. D.R. Gadjil. Dhananjay Ramachandra Gadjil was the Indian economist who was the Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission. So, third five-year plan is also known as Gandhian model and it is also known as Gadjil Yojana. Next is the objectives of third five-year plan. First objective was to develop a stable economy in the country, to develop a stable, a continuous economy in the country. Second, to remove the shortage and deficiencies that was observed at the end of the second five-year plan. So, to rectify the problem or deficiency or shortage which had been seen in the second five-year plan. So, to remove the shortage and deficiency observed at the end of the second five-year plan. And third objective was to stress on the against to stress on the agriculture and improving the production of wheat wheat in the country to make a stable economy so the objectives of third five year plan was to develop a stable economy in the country to remove the shortage and deficiencies which was already occurred at the end of the or during the second five year plan then to stress or give emphasis on agriculture again indian agriculture thus to improve the production of the wheat in the country. Next is the model of third five-year plan. Third five-year plan was following the model that is Professor Sukhamoyi Chakrabarti and Professor John Sandy model for the economic development of the country. So, Professor Sukhamoyi Chakrabarti and Professor John Sandy model for the economic development was the model for the third five-year plan in India. Next is the focus of third five-year plan. The main focus of the third five-year plan was to make economy independent, that is independent economy. The country should have its own economy without depending anybody or any nation, that is independent economy. Economic development of the country, that is independent economy. So the main focus of third five-year plan or main theme of third five-year plan was independent economy or economic independence. Next is the priorities of the third five-year plan. I have made a small mnemonic for priorities of third five-year plan. That is ideas for sowing seeds. Later sad news. Ideas for sowing seeds. Later sad news. See news you just uh, see the spelling instead of W. I made it is U. So please remember N-E-U-S not N-E-W-S. So, ideas for sowing seeds, later sad news. So, you can just connect with that uh, in the beginning of the third five-year plan. Government of India had a good ideas for sowing the seeds to develop the uh, economic independence. That is maximum production of the wheat in the country. That is ideas for sowing seeds. That is wheat. Later, there was some incidents due to war and drought. The focus and priority of third year plan was changed changed at the end that that you can remember in relation to sad news so the ideas for sowing seeds at first later there was some sad news because of the wars and because of the drought which could occur during the period of third five-year plan in india so in detail about the unforeseen events i will explain later now we can go for the priorities of third five-year plan so during the first part of the uh, third five-year plans we had a uh, many priorities based on the main focus. 
let us expand the mnemonic that is i stands for independent economy that is economic independence d stands for development of industry industrial development e stands for economic stability stability of the economy of the country that was the main focus of this third five year plan then a stands for continuation of the agriculture that is production for the uh, wheat then self reliance with the maximum production of the wheat for the country for the economic stability that is self reliance that is self reliance so ideas i stands for independent economy d stands for development of industry e stands for economic stability a stands for agriculture and s stands for self reliance then again we are continuing with the sowing sowing is nothing but social and community services which includes the seeds s stands for safe water and sanitation especially drainage in the urban areas so that is a sanitation then safe water for the rural people or in the village then e stands for expansion of institutional facilities like development of the primary health center sub center community health center etc so expansion of institutional facilities then e stands for eradication of both malaria and smallpox eradication of malaria and smallpox from the country then d stands for development of manpower health personnel or health worker to render the health services other technical and other worker to increase the economy of the country for the independent economy that is development of various manpowers then development of or introduction of or starting of school health committee in india during this third five year plan so seeds s stands for safe water and sanitation e stands for expansion of institutional facilities e stands for eradication of malaria and smallpox d stands for development of manpower or health workers health personnel then s stands for school health committee formation or establishment so seeds are the priorities which comes under the social and the community services in the uh, india during third five year plans so seeds comes under social and community services so here i explained i expanded up to ideas for sowing seeds that is the first part of the third five year plan as i have already discussed in the later part of the third five year plan the focus and the priorities were changed there i will expand the sad news so let us explain in detail about the priorities of the third five year plan in the first half that is ideas for sowing seeds so first is the economy independent or independent economy independent economy means uh, the control of all the wealth of the nation so to control the wealth of the nation by its citizen or by its majority of citizen to increase the income and the consumption of the necessary goods for the total or bulk populations so economic independence means raising the income of the citizen and providing maximum production and the consumption of the goods within the country so independence in production distribution and the consumption of the goods by own citizen goods within the country in another words the net income level of the nation of the country or net income level of india either from the labor agriculture purpose or from business activities all has to make a minimum national income or it should be higher than the minimum national income so the net income level of the nation has to be increased that should be either in the minimum national income or higher the normal national or minimum national income that is called the economy independent or independent economy this was the an important theme or focus of the third five year plan and important priority of the third five year plan in india next is the development of the various industry for the economic development so development of industry that is industrialization third priority was economic stability stability of the economic process or economy so economic stability is the absence of excessive fluctuations or variations in the macro economy so economic stability is the absence of excessive fluctuations or variations in the economy or it is an economy with fairly constant output growth so growth will be constant fairly constant and there should be less or low or stable inflation there won't be any much scarcity either that should be stable or in the same level or that would be low inflation that means the people have to avail all the resources essential resources for their healthy life so thus economic stability is an economy with a fairly constant output growth and low and stable inflation that the people or citizen of the country have the resources essential or basic resources to continue a healthy 
life. This is about economic stability. So, this was the third priority of third five-year plan. Next is agriculture. Development of the agriculture for the stable uh, economic status, for the stable economy development of the agriculture. Then the fifth priority was self-reliance. That is economic self-reliance. So, growing on food, wheat, what is necessary for the citizen of the country has to be grow, produced in the country itself. That is self-reliance. That is growing on food, that is wheat. Actually, the meaning of self-reliance is the ability to depend oneself or himself or with the self to get the things done and to meet the or his own needs or our own needs. So, growing on food, wheat in the country that is economic self-reliance for the conception of the bulk of the population in the country. So, fifth priority was self-reliance. Then sixth priority was social and community services. Here we have to expand the seeds, social and community services. So first is safe water supply in the village, especially in the villages. So provide safe water or provision for safe water in all the villages in India. That is safe water supply. Then basic sanitation, especially drainage in the urban areas. You can see the picture making drainage in the urban area as a part of the sanitation, other general sanitation in the urban area. So, sanitation which includes mainly drainage in the urban areas. The second priority under social and community services that was expansion of institutional facilities. So, expanding various institutional facilities like community health center, subdivisional hospital, taluk headquarters hospital, district hospital, medical college hospital, etc. for the health promotion of the citizen in the country. That is expansion of institutional facilities. Then third priority was eradication of malaria and smallpox. So, eradication of both malaria and smallpox from the country. That was the third priority under social and community services in third five-year plan. Then fourth one is development of manpower. Development of various manpower for the independent economy to render the various services in the country. So, development of the manpower, health personnel and other personnel, other common workers. So, increase the workforce or develop the workforce. Then fifth one is school health committee, formation of or constitution of school health committee for the health and welfare of the school children because they are the pillar of the nation. They are the pillar of the nation tomorrow. So, government of India introduced or started a school health committee during third five-year plan. So, these are the priorities of the first half of the uh, third five-year plan in India. So, as we have already discussed in the later part of the third five-year plan execution, India was engaged into two wars, especially the Sino-India War 1962 and Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. So, government of India faced a lot of problem during the second half of the third five-year plan to execute the focus and priorities because India was engaged with the two wars or underwent the two wars that is Sino-India War that is with China in 1965. 62 and Indo-Pakistani war with Pakistan in 1965. So, let us explain in short about the these two wars which occurred during the third five-year plan. So, first is about the Sino-Indian war in 1962 that was between the China and India that was occurred in October to November in 1962. The main cause of the war or reason of the uh, Sino-Indian war in 1962 was a disputed uh, Himalayan border because of the Himalayan border between India and China had a war in 1962 that was known as Sino-Indian War. Then second war the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. The reason or main cause of this war was the conflict began following the Pakistan's Operation Gibraltar. Operation Gibraltar that is in this operation Pakistan wanted to bring their force or military into Indian held Jammu and Kashmir to conquer the area of Kashmir ruled by India. Actually, the area of Kashmir, that area was ruled by India. To conquer that uh, area, the Pakistan army were forced to two Indian held Jammu and Kashmir. That was known as Operation Gibraltar. So, that was a reason for conflict between India and Pakistan. Then that led into Indo-Pakistani War of 1960. Five. The Indo-Pakistani War of 1965, also known as the Second Kashmir War. The Second Kashmir War. 
In addition to that, during 1965 and 66, during third five-year plan, there was heavy drought, severe drought in India, especially in the Bihar. That was known as Bihar drought. So, the annual production of the food grains had dropped uh, from 7.5 million tons uh, in 1965 to 66 to 7.2 million tons in 1966 and uh, 67 during this Bihar drought. So, that led a lot of trouble to the Indian government uh, because of the two wars and uh, Bihar drought during the third five-year plan. This is forced to shift the focus and the priorities of the uh, third five-year plan and third five-year plan into other areas. Let us see what was that. Thus, wars and drought which occurred in India during the period of third five-year plan led into inflation. So, the two wars and the drought which occurred in the Bihar led into or led to inflation. That is, rise in the prices of the most goods and commodity. That is, the people or citizens were unable to or they couldn't buy the basic or necessary things. Then it weakens the economy of India. So, weakens in the economy. Thus, the focus of the third five-year plan was shifted into another focus or other focus such as stabilization of the price, then uh, development of Indian army and development of the defense industry in India. So, the mnemonic we can continue that is SAD. S stands for stabilization of the price in India. Then A stands for Indian Army, Army Development in India, that is Army, Indian Army Development and last D stands for Defense Industry, that is Development of the Defense in India, that is Defense Industry in India. So, as we have discussed, after the wars, the focus and priorities of the third five-year plan were shifted to, that is a sad news. So, mnemonic is sad news. S stands for stabilization of the price in the country. Then A stands for army development that is Indian army development and D stands for defense industry development that is defense development. So, as the focus was changed or shifted, the priority also shifted into other priorities such as N stands for national incomes. Increase the national income of the country. Then E stands for equal rights to all the citizens to avail whatever thing available in the country that is equal rights that is E stands for equal rights and the U stands for reduction of unemployment that is unemployment reduction to maintain the stability of the economy or stabilization of the price we have to reduce the unemployment situation in India that is U stands for unemployment reduction and last one is S stands for social welfare. So, social and welfare services or social and community services also uh, followed during the second phase of the third five-year plan also. So, S stands for social welfare. So, social welfare or social services. So, let us explain in detail about the uh, shifted focus and priorities during the second phases of the third five-year plan. So, the first focus was the stabilization of the price in the country. So, that is a reduction in the price fluctuations or variations. Then regulation of the price movements within a certain range. So, maintaining the stability or constant development of the price without any fluctuation or variation. That is stabilization of the price. So, in short, stabilization of the price is the process whereby the market price of a security is manipulated in order to achieve a successful offer. So, it is the process whereby the market price of the goods or the security is manipulated in order to achieve the successful offer, in order to achieve by all the people in the country. So, stabilization of the price was the first focus of uh, second part of the third five-year plan. Then second uh, focus was development of the Indian Army. After the wars, the government of India came to understood came to understood that uh, the Indian Army has to be developed. Thus, the development of the Indian Army was the second focus of the uh, third five-year plan in the second half. Then third focus was defense industry development. So, development of the defense industry in India. So, defense industry means uh, that is the industrial complex that uh, enables the research and the developmental process of the defense as well as it includes the designing, production, delivery and maintenance of military weapons that is used for the war. That is design, production, delivery, distribution and maintenance of the various military weapons system in the country. That is the development of the defense industry. So, this was the third focus in the second half of the third five-year plan. Then the priority also were shifted based on the 
based on the focus first one is increase the national income of the country so increase the national income by 5 percentage per annum so every year 5 percentage of national income has to be had to be increased that was the priority in the second half of the third five year plan that is increase the national income by 5 percentage per annum so that is 5 percentage every year or each year then the second priority was equal rights to all the people that is equal rights so ensuring that people enjoy everything what is present in india as equal rights in the country okay the goods production of goods consumption of the goods and health services that all people will enjoy with the equal rights in the country that is equal rights then third priority was reduction of unemployment that is unemployment reduction in india so minimizing the rate of the unemployment to increase the economy of the nation so minimizing the rate of unemployment to increase the economy of the nation that was the third priority of the second part of the third five year plan then social welfare the last priority regarding social and community services that is social welfare which includes introduction of new and important national health programs for the development of the country that is introduction of new and important national health programs and appointing health committee health planning committees in india to conduct the survey and make a necessary recommendation to improve the health status of the country so introduction of new and important national health programs and appointing health planning committees in india were comes under social welfare in third five year plan so let us explain in short about the uh, new and important national health programs during the third five year plan and health committee which was appointed during the third five year plan so the first national health program that was introduced during the third five year plan was iodine deficiency disorder control program in 1962 that is goiter control program that is iodine deficiency disorder control program in 1962 so government of india started a iddcp program that is iodine deficiency disorder control program in 1962 then government of india also renamed the national tb control program as revised national tb control program in 1962 that is revised national tb control program to control all the tb cases in the country government of india introduced the revised national tb control program in 1962 or renamed the national tb control program into revised national tb control program in 1962 then government of india also appointed various health planning committees in india that was chada committee in 1963 mukherjee committee 1965-66 and jain committee in 1966 so government of india appointed various health planning committees during third five year plan were chada committee in 1963 mukherjee committee in 1965-66 and jain committee in 1966 then the annual growth target of gdp gross domestic product set per year during third five year plan was 5.6 percentage per year so the annual growth target of gdp gross domestic product set uh, during third five year plan per year was 5.6 percentage per year 5.6 percentage per year then annual growth gdp gross domestic product achieved at the end of the uh, third five year plan was that is 2.4 percentage per year so achieved annual growth was only 2.4 percentage per year so the target growth was actually it was already we have discussed that is 5.6 while achieved only 2.4 percentage per year that means the third five year plan was a flop or complete failure in reaching the target due to uh, various unforeseen events that we have already explained such as uh, in the sino indo war that is chinese aggression in 1962 then indo pak war in 1964 and severe drought especially bihar drought in 1965-66 thus the third five year plan was a flop or it was a complete failure it couldn't achieve the annual target uh, gdp that was set 5.6 but it was achieved only 2.4 per year so let us summarize the third five year plan in india so summary of third five year plan in india so the period of third five year plan was or from 1961 to 1966 so the period of third five year plan was 1961 to 66 the prime minister during the period of third five year plan was jawaharlal nehru so 
പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ വാസ് ജവഹർലാൽ നെഹ്റു ദെൻ ദ മോഡൽ വിച്ച് വാസ് ഫോളോഡ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് തേർഡ് ഫൈവ് ഇയർ പ്ലാൻ വാസ് പ്രൊഫസർ ജോൺ സാൻഡി ആൻഡ് സുഖമോയി ചക്രവർത്തി മോഡൽ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ദ എക്കണോമിക് സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി ഓർ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡന്റ് എക്കണോമി ദാറ്റ് വാസ് പ്രൊഫസർ ജോൺ സാൻഡി ആൻഡ് സുഖമോയി ചക്രവർത്തി മോഡൽ ദെൻ പ്രയോറിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് ഫോക്കസ് ഫോക്കസ് ഓഫ് തേർഡ് ഫൈവ് ഇയർ പ്ലാൻ at first was independent economy that was independent economy then the mnemonic we have made for the priorities ideas for sowing seeds so i stands for independent economy that was a focus and a first priority then second it was development of industry economic stability agriculture self reliance in growing on food maximum production and consumption of wheat in the country then social and community services includes seeds safe water supply in village and sanitation that is especially drainage in urban areas then expansion of various institutional facilities such as community health center taluk headquarters hospital subdivisional hospital district hospitals etc then eradication of both malaria and smallpox from the country then development of manpower various manpower for the country and introduction of or beginning of school health committee in india then after the two wars and the drought in the bihar the focus and priorities were shifted from the third five year plan in the second half the focus was the mnemonic we have used the sad that is stabilization of price army development that is indian army development then defense industry development defense industry development then the priorities were news that is n stands for national income that is increase of national income up to 5 percentage per year then equal rights for all the people or citizen in the country then unemployment reduction so reduction of the rate of unemployment in india and the s stands for social welfare services which includes a introduction of new national health program such as iodine deficiency disorder control program in 1962 so government of india introduced the iodine deficiency control program in 1962 then renamed national tuberculosis control program as revised national tuberculosis control program in 1962 then appointed various health planning committees in india during third five year plan as part of social welfare that was chada committee in 1963 mukherjee committee in 1965 66 and jain committee in 1966 the annual growth rate of gdp set for the third five year plan was 5.6 percentage per year annual growth target of gdp was 5.6 percentage in third five year plan and at the end of the third five year plan we have achieved only 2.4 percentage per year that indicate the failure of the third five year plan due to the two wars and bihar drought the wars were indo sino war and indo pak war and bihar drought made a failure of third five year plan this is about third five year plan so thanks for watching hope this video really benefits in your studies and exams and other competitive exams so if you feel it is worth and beneficial please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with the angel health academy for the next part fourth part of the video of five year plans in india that is fourth five year plan in india thank you